Ahoy, landlubbers, it's me, your valiant Captain Vasco. And I almost fell off that cliff for no good reason. We'll go back to the barren wastes. I think we're in the desert ruins currently. We just uh, learned about these things in the last episode. There's some sort of floating quasi-staircase platforms with some tricky details to them. Oh, well, it's not what I was expecting that to do either. Now, these things are not terribly consistent, huh? All right, well, that's going to take some getting used to. Um, in the last episode, we uh, showed up here after uh, escaping Gundahar's facility, and uh, I, I guess I guess I would call it like close enough to disarming his military facility. <laughs> like we we show up here, and the doctor's like, "Oh yeah, we totally ruined his factory." Is like, we blew up like three dozen tanks, but like he has a factory that makes tanks. Like you are aware that that's just. A thing that he owns, right? Um, we also acquired another aqua form crystal thing. So, uh, yeah, we're gradually building towards... Whoa. Almost missed that happening. Oh, please don't hit me. Um, I like also that these elevators have to wait for me to, like, finish beating the enemies. It seems like a really poorly designed thing for getting around. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Oh no, it's it's yeah, Ryder. I free glammed it. <laughs> I totally thought that was the doctor for a second. I'm like, there's no way that the doctor beat me up here. It's just not. Let's be honest. I'm still. Oh, that seemed to kill me. I'm not sure if that was entirely the boomerang or the combination of the boomerang and what I can only call the vampire crystals. Um, it's a really annoying place to fight boomerang guys. I tell you what. Uh, something about something. I keep getting distracted by playing this game. Oh yeah, I keep seeing that glittering every- Wow, that's such a cheap shot! Are you kidding me? What a stupid, stupid piece of crap. Ugh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the vampire crystals count as doing a hit towards you, which is really obnoxious. Yeah, how about that? Oh my god, you're the worst! Oof, that was really close. That is such that is such an obnoxious place to put an enemy. Are you kidding me? Okay, is anyone else seeing these sparkles all over the place? It's driving me insane. I think I have some sort of glitter psychosis. But like, I can't even point to them because they're really small and they happen very quickly. So I can't be like, look, there, at that point in the screen. Okay, except right now where it's like everywhere on the screen. And apparently there's laser beetles. I'm trying to talk about glitter, jerks. It's a very mask. Oh, come on! I have to do that again? There really ought to be a checkpoint after that obnoxious super boomerang guy. What the... <laughs> Ugh. See, that's the sort of thing that sucked in God of War that I could do without them, like, replicating here. Hey, look at that! It's a boomerang! I'm gonna try something. Yeah, that worked. That's what I wanted. Ow. Okay, great. So, now that we've gotten all the cheap shots out of our system, can we uh, play the rest of this level like we actually know how to design video games? I would love that. Oh, these guys take two hits? Well, that's interesting. This sun crystal? Sure. Take that. Just use some sun crystal. Didn't even realize I had full sun crystal charge, but I must have. Oh! Yeah, again, now I finally like feel okay about... What the heck just happened there? Everything went all slow and I got like 10 hits to my combo meter. Well, actually, I probably just combo leveled up. Most of that was probably from fighting those beetles before because I punched them a bunch of times. Magnetic resonance? Could be. Whatever it is, something in those rocks is interfering with the platforms. Let's be careful. See, that's kind of cool. I like that as an excuse for the platforming to get more difficult when... Our ally made the platform, so we probably shouldn't be doing that. Um, but yeah, what I was saying before is that I actually finally like feel okay about. Ah, oh, I hate these guys so much. They're super obnoxious. Uh, what is it? Oh, there, there's like a plant in the cliff, and it looked like a spider for a second. I was like, ugh, where did the wall spider come from? I don't like it. Just gonna wait for this to flap again. There we go. Um. 
But I finally feel good about using, like, the, the sunstone charge now that, like, I have, like, a reasonable way to recharge it. Like, not taking me, like, several episodes to do. Interesting. Uh, oh. I don't like the way that this camera is set up. Oh, that was not... Oh, come on. Like, okay, it's one thing when it's... The fixed camera is a problem for the type of platforming where depth perception is an issue. Alright, get rid of those guys without losing the hits from punching them. Seems like a really major accomplishment, right? But like, oh, like, fixed camera is so obnoxious when it's like, you can't tell where the platform is that you have to jump to, like... I feel like... It should be fairly obvious that, like, good game design does not have those sorts of, like, gimmicky problems to them. That's, like, bad control territory. Which, as I believe I've already stated, is more of a, this ruins games and does not add any fun or challenge. It just ruins games. Oh, come on! How could I not get hit by that? I was trying, simp like, I literally was only trying not to get hit by the boomerang there. Oh, come on. There's not a checkpoint there? Oh, my good grief. Now, the game is getting a lot worse about checkpoint placement as we're getting through it. And on the one hand, that sort of, like, increases the challenge as the game goes on. But generally, I would say that checkpoint placement should be effective throughout. And that placing a checkpoint in an obnoxious spot to make the game harder is not actually making the game harder. It's being a jerk. Alright, so next time I get up there to the platform with the guy I don't like, I'm gonna shoot him with lasers. How about that? What do you guys think about shooting guys with lasers? Again, with the depth perception, I almost just fell into the abyss for no adequate reason. And wait for this. I'm also kind of glad it doesn't affect all of the platforms. Oh, come on. Why does it keep doing this? Super obnoxious. That's unbelievably obnoxious. The only way I could do that without getting hit was to, like, ugh, just stupid. What's happening? Who is this? What's what? You're safe. Yes, I survived their attack. All our hard work was destroyed. That you brought upon yourself. You should never have used my creations against human settlements. They are our oppressors. And when you stopped your work, you hurt us all. With better weapons than these, we could have defeated them. With better weapons, Monteverde would be a smoking hole in the ground. It sounds like you just want my help to exterminate the humans. Charlotte, yes, that's yes. Humans are our natural enemies. We took you in because you helped us in our struggle. But the truth is, we won't rest until every human is dead. Out of gratitude to you, I won't harm you. But if you refuse to rebuild the weapons factories, you have no place here with us. Doctor, come save me. Please. It's a pretty quick change of heart there. I mean, you already knew that the goblins were attacking people, so I feel like... You know, whatever, I'm just gonna, just gonna roll with it. What are you up to? He's got claw shields or something? It's kind of a cool weapon. It's gonna be really annoying to fight, though. Ah, stupid nature areas with the things that I can't tell if they are... Secret zones. Although after that last section, I feel pretty confident that just not every area has a lot of secrets. If that one area had so many, there's no way that every level has had that many secrets. It just doesn't make any sense. So I probably haven't missed as many as I thought I had. But I'm sure, well, I, I'm absolutely sure I've missed some. There's some in the first level that I missed because I just wasn't in the habit of looking for them yet. Oh, I hate these stupid crystals. Oh, the wind finally came back. I was wondering why they were like, Oh, watch out for the wind! And then, like, the wind wasn't ever, like, a major issue. Just, just do your thing. Just flap. Great. 
Oh, I need another one. Cool. Oh, this looks obnoxious. Oh, no. Wow, that... Ow. That sucked. Of course. Why wouldn't I want to play that entire section again? Great. I've gotten bold. I no longer care about your traps with the bombs. They're stupid. Just like your face. Sick burn! Okay. So watch out for the wind, kind of. Only a little bit slightly. I'm more inclined to worry about the glitter. I'm pretty sure the glitter is that magnetic stuff he was talking about. It seems to make sense. I think maybe I'm invincible when I'm doing attacks, which is a thing that I would have liked to know like way earlier in the game. But that's cool, I will use this knowledge for good, maybe. Now, this would have been a lot easier 20 years ago. up with this place? Oh, goblins. Why would that come as a surprise to me at this point in my life? Wow, there's a, there's a lot of goblins. Wait, how did the goblins find us here? Also, what hit me there? It seems to be a catapult thing, but... I don't know, that seemed weird. Wow, are you kidding me? I can't fight that guy until I've finished killing everyone else? That's so obnoxious. Super obnoxious. Learn a lesson about not being super obnoxious. Yeah, if we had the, uh, the transmuter, we'd be in a little bit better shape here. Can I, uh, can I break this? Okay, good. Oh, it was full of sunstone energy for no reason at all. That cave entrance was too narrow to get the platforms through. So, we're gonna have to use ropes the rest of the way. <sighs> I like how Nag does everything the hard way just, like, out of spite to the humans or something. Just showing off. Thank you. Making them feel inferior. wonder why all of a sudden we're ragging on the doctor. I thought that was my spiel. Come on, secrets? I still want to finish the transmuter and the time dilator. And then after that, I'll really just take whatever I could get. I'm glad to have completed several machine things, though. Oh, now the wind is really kicking in. It's gonna make fighting super obnoxious, isn't it? Hey, combo level. It's nice to see you again. It's been a while. Hey, this is a thing, but it's glowing yellow, so it's not what I want. Well, I do need sunstone energy. I used a bunch before with that stupid crap that happened. You were probably there for that. Okay, get up to place. What the? Oh my god, he has a throwing pickaxe? What is the point of that even? Please stop it. Oh my god. Punch him to parts. Punch him to crystals is probably a little bit more accurate. Whee! I move very quickly and very dangerously. Hello, guys. Oh. I thought that wall was going to stop him from throwing that at me. It did not. Oh, come on! How the crap was I supposed to predict that he was going to do that? Uh, it's very difficult to use the combo thing. See, the reason I find the time dilator to be a more exciting, like, upgrade is because it seems to help you fight as opposed to, like, making it easier to fight. Because, like, doing more damage is fine, but, like, because of the way this game is structured with, like, the one-hit kills, it's way better to, like, have a better shot at avoiding one-hit kills, in my opinion. Like, that just makes a lot more sense as a battle strategy. Hello! Oh god, these guys are so obnoxious. It's another one of those things where they've just set these guys up where it's like, 
You know, let's just set, like, a guy up here and a guy up here, and then, like, their attack arc just covers, like, the, the entire screen. Like, I mean, it's fine to do that every now and then with, like, the abilities they give you, like, the sunstone powers, but, like, when they do it as often as they do, like, there's just no way to have enough sunstone power to avoid their shenanigans. And, I mean, I'm saying this having the ability to acquire much more sunstone power than I did, like, three levels ago. Oh god, <laughs> this is awful. You would not be able to aim and fire a catapult a foot away from the catapult. That's not how catapults work. Hello guys, I'm gonna just do this. Oh god dang it. The aiming thing again. I was trying not to get blown off the cliff by the wind, and so instead I didn't get to use my attack properly. I ri the, the blast attack has the most finicky aiming system of, like, anything in the world. It's so annoying. Especially when it's one of the more important powers to use. Just one more. <sighs> what's, what's at the top? I don't think the doctor's okay, you guys. It's a really long climb, actually. Uh, Ryder! Back! Uh, hang on, Doc! Uh, Nice swan dive rider. Didn't think you had it in you. Well, one does what one must. Hmm. You alright, Doc? Just a little further. Owned it. <clears throat> I love that Dak is always giving Ryder a hard time for like not like having quippy one-liners. I mean, I feel like you can't criticize Ryder too badly when he's able to I mean, like, he's almost at the level of, like, Ninja Girl, in terms of, like, the ridiculous nature of what he can do. That's the longest combo I've had in a while. Is this a thing? Oh, this totally looks like a thing. Why do you get my hopes up? What's going on here? I need to open... Oh, good. Vampire Crystal. Terrific. Stupid Vampire Crystals. Yay, I succeeded! What's going on? Oh no, it's so many explosives! Alright, I think I'm back up to maximum combo. I'm not really sure how to handle these uh, catapult guys. Maybe like this? Man, I go to the catapults. That's really about as much as I needed. You guys gonna come down here? You guys like to jump sometimes. No, you're just gonna be weird. Oh, there we go. Figured it out. How about you? No? Nothing? Great. Now you're dead. How do you like the maps? Okay, and where does this lead us? Oh, it's uh, one of those guys. I don't think I've properly fought one of those fellows. Last time I was just throwing all of my sunstone energy at them. I kinda wanna try with the combo meter. Oh, crap. Wait, that doesn't count as a hit? Great, I will take it. That sounds delightful. You go ahead and hit that switch, Knack. I'll be right here. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it here for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series, and I uh, hope that you'll join me for the next episode. Because if you do, I'll see you then.